1998, in the vibrant and bustling city of Mumbai, Tata Group's retail arm, Trent Limited, took a leap of faith into the world of fashion retailing and introduced Westside to the Indian market. Westside quickly won the hearts of fashion-conscious people all over the country with its chic and contemporary designs. Westside became synonymous with style by selling a varied choice of garments, accessories and home furnishings, becoming a favourite among urban consumers looking for the latest trends. However, in India's recent fashion landscape, a new player emerged, quickly gaining popularity and challenging the dominance of people's favourite brand, Meet Zudio. At first glance, one might assume that Zudio is an external competitor attempting to disrupt Westside's market share. But the truth is far more intriguing. Zudio is actually Tata's own brand competing with Tata's own company, Westside. Wait, what? Zudio's rise to prominence can be attributed to a well-crafted strategy that sets it apart from Westside. Value-focused pricing Irresistible prices for trendy yet affordable clothing appealing to wide customer base. Low marketing costs, leveraging word of mouth and social media, boosting customer growth and loyalty. Inventory management mastery, consistently fresh and exciting offerings through weekly updates. FOCO expansion model, rapidly expanding with franchise-owned company-operated stores in untapped markets. Private labeling, increasing profit margins through collaborations with manufacturers for exclusive products. Okay, so Zudio is less expensive and is getting popular. But now, Westside's business is facing direct competition from its own sister company, particularly in the affordable fashion segment. This has made it difficult for Westside to maintain its market share and customer loyalty. But why is Tata allowing its own brands to compete? Tata's decision to allow Zudio to eat into Westside's business can be understood through a strategic lens. While it may seem counterintuitive, Tata's philosophy is centered on encouraging innovation, efficiency and market adaptability. Let's explore the reasons behind this intriguing move. Diversification Tata Group's retail ventures with Westside and Zudio enable it to diversify its retail portfolio and mitigate risks associated with relying on a single brand. Tata's Zudio can cater to price-conscious customers, whereas Westside caters to upper-class buyers. Increase market share the value fashion segment is one of the fastest growing in this market. With a compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, of 15% expected from 2022 to 2026, Tata can capitalize on this growth by combining Zudio and Westside. Upselling could be one of the reasons Tata would allow Zudio to compete with Westside. When a Zudio customer enters the Tata ecosystem, they gain trust and may buy into the aspiration, converting to West Side shopping as well. Zudio can be used as a testing ground for new ideas and concepts that can later be rolled out to West Side. This allows Tata to be more innovative and responsive to customer needs. Synergy and resource utilization Both West Side and Zudio can benefit from shared resources, infrastructure and supply chain capabilities. This synergy increases Tata's chances of success in the competitive retail environment. Similar to the fascinating competition between Zudio and Westside in the fashion retail industry, the Tata Group has friendly competition in the automobile industry as well, with Tata Motors and Jaguar Land Rover JLR, two prominent automakers competing in the same auto market. JLR is more upscale, similar to Westside, and Tata Motors is affordable, similar to Zudio. This dynamic fosters an excellence-focused culture and drives each company to provide its best products to the market. If you've ever shopped at Westside or Zudio, let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing stories from the worlds of fashion and business.